watching us online today, let us call to mind our sins as we seek the mercy and healing from our good and gracious God. Lord Jesus, you came to reconcile us to one another and to the Father. Lord, have mercy. Lord Jesus, you heal the wounds of sin and division. Christ, have mercy. Lord Jesus, you intercede for us with your Father. Lord, have mercy. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Let us pray. O God, whose mercies are without number, and whose treasure of goodness is infinite, graciously increase the faith of the people consecrated to you, that all may grasp and rightly understand by whose love they have been created, through whose blood they have been redeemed, and by whose spirit they have been reborn. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, God, forever and ever. Amen. You may be seated. A reading from the book of the prophet Jonah. The word of the Lord came to Jonah a second time. Set out for the great city of Nineveh and announce to it the message that I will tell you. So Jonah made ready and went to Nineveh according to the Lord's bidding. Now Nineveh was an enormously large city. It took three days to go through it. Jonah began his journey through the city and had gone but a single day's walk announcing, Forty days more and Nineveh shall be destroyed. When the people of Nineveh believed God, they proclaimed a fast, and all of them, great and small, put on sackcloth. When the news reached the king of Nineveh, he rose from his throne, laid aside his robe, covered himself with sackcloth, and sat in the ashes. Then he had this proclamation throughout Nineveh. By decree, of the king and his nobles, neither man nor beast, neither cattle nor sheep shall taste anything. They shall not eat, nor shall they drink water. Man and beast shall be covered with sackcloth and call loudly to God. Every man shall turn from his evil way and from the violence he has in hand. Who knows? God may relent and forgive and withhold his blazing wrath, so that we shall not perish. When God saw by their actions how they turned from their evil way, he repented of the evil that he had threatened to do to them. He did not carry it out. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. If you, O Lord, Mark iniquities, who can stand? If you, O Lord, mark iniquities, who can stand? Out of the depths I cry to you, O Lord. Lord, hear my voice. Let my ears be attentive to my voice in supplication. If you, O Lord, mark iniquities, who can stand? If you, O Lord, mark iniquities, Lord, who can stand? But with you is forgiveness, that you may be revered. If you, O Lord, mark iniquities, who can stand? Let Israel wait for the Lord, for with the Lord is kindness, and with him is plentiless redemption. And he will redeem Israel from all their iniquities. If you, O Lord, mark iniquities, who can stand? Alleluia, alleluia. Alleluia, alleluia. Blessed are those who hear the word of God and observe it. Alleluia, alleluia. The 
The Lord be with you. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Luke. In those days, Jesus entered a village where a woman whose name was Martha welcomed him. She had a sister named Mary, who sat beside the Lord at his feet, listening to him speak. Martha, burdened with much serving, came to him and said, Lord, do you not care that my sister has left me by myself to do the serving? Tell her to help me. The Lord said to her in reply, Martha, Martha, you are anxious and worried about many things. There is need of only one thing. Mary has chosen the better part, and it will not be taken from her. The Gospel of the Lord. Busy, busy, busy. At any given moment, who hasn't felt like Martha, stuck with the activities of hospitality? Some people avoid being listeners. It feels more natural to be buzzing about, preparing a meal, tidying up, or arranging the placemats on a table. This gospel encourages us to be open to the present moment to what that moment calls us to do. Sometimes it's to be a Martha. Sometimes it's to be a Mary. But are we doing what we are best suited to be doing at this particular moment in time? God gives us all particular gifts and calls us to use those gifts to his fullest. We may not recognize what those gifts are, but God does. Just look at Jonah in our first reading today. He tried his best to escape going to Nineveh. He had no desire to be a prophet, encouraging the people to change their ways. Yet a few days spent in the belly of a whale seems to have convinced him that following the path God set out for him might be the best choice. Now, according to the writer of Luke, we don't hear Mary's side of the story in our gospel. Perhaps her inclination was to help with the chores rather than just sit and listen. But being attentive to a guest is a major part of hospitality, as important as preparing a meal. Martha or Mary, action or contemplation, Both certainly have a place in the Christian life. Each has value. At any given time, no matter what our preference might be, we are called to choose one over the other. Trusting in the Lord means listening for the voice that calls us to be what is needed from us in that moment. our voices in prayer as we ask God to bless these prayers of petition by responding, Lord, hear our prayer. That God may grant the church a spirit of faithfulness and fortitude in her mission, mission of spreading the gospel, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. That cities and nations living in the darkness of sin, may be led by the gospel message to repentance for the sake of salvation. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. That the Holy Spirit may remove all burdens and obstacles from those who find it difficult to see God's goodness and grace. 
Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. That all who minister to our faith community may continue to grow in hope and faith as they follow Christ and do his work. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. That Jesus may welcome into his heavenly home the souls of all the faithful departed. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For Marie Allman, for whom this Mass is offered, and for what or for whom do we pray today? And we make these prayers through Christ our Lord. Amen. You may be seated. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation. Through your goodness, we have this bread to offer you. Fruit to the earth and work of human hands, it will become for us the bread of life. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, through your goodness we have this wine to offer you, fruit of the vine, and work of human hands, it will become for us our spiritual drink. Pray, my sisters and brothers, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God the Almighty Father. Receive our oblations in your mercy, O Lord, and transform them into the sacrament of redemption, the memorial of your son's death and resurrection, so that by the power of this sacrifice and with constant trust in Christ, we may come to eternal life through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And Lift up your hearts. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is, right it is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation always and everywhere to give you thanks. Lord, Holy Father, creator of the world and source of all life, for you never forsake the works of your wisdom, but by your providence are even now at work in our midst. With mighty hand and outstretched arm, you led your people Israel through the desert. Now, as your church makes her pilgrim journey in the world, you always accompany her by the power of the Holy Spirit and lead her along the paths of time to the eternal joy of your kingdom through Jesus Christ. And so with all the angels and saints, we sing the hymn of your glory. Holy, 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 Lord God of hosts, heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. Therefore, 
You are indeed holy, O Lord. You are the fount of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts, we pray, by sending down your Spirit upon them like the dewfall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread, giving thanks, broke it, and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice and once more, giving you thanks, gave it to his friends and said, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith. We proclaim your death, O Lord, and profess your resurrection until you come again. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly, we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church, your people spread throughout the world, and bring her to the fullness of charity together with Francis, our Pope, William, our Bishop, and all the clergy and religious. Remember also our sisters and brothers who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection, and all who have died in your mercy, Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with Saint Joseph, her spouse, with the blessed apostles, the martyrs, and with all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him and with him and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. We pray the words that Jesus taught us. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days that by the help of your mercy, we may always be free from sin and safe from all distress and anxiety as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith and courage of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. May the peace of the Lord be with you always. Amen. Let us offer one another the sign of peace. Amen. Lamb of God,
behold the Lamb of God who takes away the sin of the world. Happy are we called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word and my soul shall be healed. Christ. The body of 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 Christ. Body of Christ. The Crepa to Cristo. Body of Christ. The Body of Christ. The Body of Christ. The Body of Christ. Let us pray. Grant to us, O merciful God, that nourished by the body and blood of your Son, we may draw confidently from the wellsprings of mercy and show ourselves ever more compassionate towards our sisters and brothers through Christ our Lord. Uh, I want to repeat the announcement that I made yesterday. We have a funeral mass for Pura and Gala at 11 o'clock this morning. In your charity, please uh, pray for the repose of her soul and the consolation for her family. Uh, after the funeral mass, uh, approximately 12 noon-ish, we will commence adoration of the Blessed Sacrament until 7 p.m. tonight. The Lord be with you. May Almighty God bless you, the Father, and the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. The Mass is ended. Go in peace. Have a nice day, everybody.